So good evening. <coughs> so we shall take forth the next 25 questions, which are from current affairs. Okay. So question number five. Correct I can't just check panic. Question number five. So question number five. You have to consider the following pass whether the wildlife sanctuaries have been arranged to the proper states or not. So Suhelva Wildlife Sanctuary, is it in Uttar Pradesh? Yes, it is. Okay, so the reason why it was in news is because this region sighted the tiger for the first time in many years. Okay, so tiger sighting Abhinrada recorded for the first time in this sanctuary and therefore it has been in the news. So Suhelva is in Uttar Pradesh. It is a part of a sanctuary which is part of the Babar Terai region, which is quite rich in biodiversity. Okay. Second, Netravalli <coughs> Wildlife Sanctuary. The name may seem to be right in Kerala, but it is not so. Hmm? Huh? No. <laughs> okay. And therefore, <coughs> one is correctly matched, two is incorrect, two is incorrect, this is in Goa. Why it was in the news is because one of the rarest animals in India, that was black panther. Okay. Right. So black panther was uh, rescued from a village in Goa and it was freed into this particular wildlife sanctuary, Netravalli. Netravalli is one of the distributaries of tributaries of the Zuari River, which is the largest river in Goa. Okay, so that is in Goa. Barna Wapara Wildlife Sanctuary. Is it in Chhattisgarh? Yes, it is in Chhattisgarh. This is in news because of the successful relocation of uh, not cheetahs, buffaloes, wild buffaloes. Okay. So wild buffaloes were relocated from Assam to this particular sanctuary in Chhattisgarh. Okay, so one and three is correct. Two is incorrect. It is in Goa. So the answer will be one and three only. Consider the following with respect to Antarctic circumpolar current. Right. So let's first look at the image and then come to this. You do know about all the ocean currents, right? So ocean currents, so we do not focus on this particular ocean current because most of the ocean current that we speak of will be the ocean currents that seems to divert its course because of the presence of land. So continental landmass, it will take another shape, it will be a warm, it will become a cold based on the direction of the current. So we we understand all of this. So Antarctic circumpolar is also eastern bound. It flows from west to east. And because of the lack of any land here, it makes a complete circumference. Full away. Right. That is why the term circumpolar. It makes a complete circle. It is the only current that is able to make a complete circle across the world. Okay, this is the only, even Arctic circumference, circumpolar, only this is the only circumpolar and therefore it is one of the strongest winds because it is having no hindrance at all. Okay, so you will know this drift wind, it is also called as west, west drift also because of the direction in which it flows. So in the west drift, this particular, the the areas in which it rotates, it's also not confined. It changes year to year. Okay, so now 60 degrees, 60 degrees, sometimes 40 degrees, 50 degrees in the range. It can fluctuate. Okay, this is about this Afri uh, Antarctic circumpolar. So now let's see about this current. It greatly speeds up sea travel from west to east. It Does it flow from west to east? Yes, yes of course it is. But makes it difficult from east to west? Is it right? Yes. Now comes the question. Due to the prevailing easterly winds. Right? You do know. So let's say this is the circumpolar. 
இதுக்கு மேல வாட் இஸ் தி ட்ரேட் வின்ஸ் அட் வில் பி ஃப்ளோயிங் இன் திஸ் டிரெக்ஷன் என்ன இருக்கும் வெஸ்டர் லீஸ் வில் பி ஃப்ளோயிங் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தி இன்ஃப்ளூயன்ஸ் ஆஃப் வெஸ்டர் லீஸ் Again, the direction, sailors can now argue, it will be very difficult because both the Antarctic circumpolar and the west wind flows in this direction. And all the east to travel from the river, the customer, therefore all the sailors who are traveling towards the east will find it easier. Okay, so east and east do not have a role here. And all the, in the world, you have to be very cautious in reading till the last sentence. Yeah, if you make errors at this instant, no harm. Yeah, I've been saying that because of the fatigue that grows after reading 50 questions, you will not have the patience to see the question in detail. You can talk about it. Okay, so in the last moment where I come in, you can talk about it. Because that's how UPSC sometimes will break you. Okay, so I'll talk about it. So this is incorrect because we have used the word Easter Livings here. Right? So easterly winds do not prevail here. It is in fact the westerly winds. Two, it is the only ocean current to close upon itself in a circumpolar loop. Is it right? Yes. Wellington, the capital of New Zealand, is located in the roaring 40s of this region, which is an overlap of this Antarctic circumpolar and the west. Right, west, uh, westerly, sir, we name them in different ways. Yeah. So roaring 40s is one of them. Is this located around this area? Wellington, New Zealand, yes. Okay, so three is correct, one is incorrect, two is correct, and therefore the answer will be two and three only. Right. <clears throat> Question number seven, which of the following is a context in which the term Bu Aadhar is mentioned? Yeah. It's a very easy question. So land, okay, so digitization of land. So Bu Nsanale, land, so Bu Aadhar. land unique land parcel identification number okay so you will pin abdin sulranga this is part of government's efforts towards modernization of land records so yeah so this is a ongoing project under which every land parcel will be now given a unique id okay it will be an 14 digit alpha numeric number <coughs> okay so this is c Recently, scientists have discovered a massive underwater blue hole. Right? We have given all the context. This is what is in the news. So consider the following statements regarding the blue hole, especially Thamja blue hole. That was in the news. What are blue holes? Blue holes are roughly circular, steep walled depressions that are typically formed in low-lying converging plate boundaries or margins. Right? So logically, you can see that கன்வர்ஜிங் சொன்னா டிப்ரெஷன்ஸ் வருமா வராது அண்ட் ஆல்சோ திஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ளூ ஹோல்ஸ் இஸ் நாட் அசோசியேட்டட் வித் எனி ஆஃப் தி டெக்டானிக் பிளேட்ஸ் டெக்டானிக் பிளேட்ஸ்க்கும் ஃபார்மேஷன் ஆஃப் ப்ளூ ஹோல்ஸ்க்கும் தேர் இஸ் நோ அசோசியேஷன் அண்ட் தேர் ஃபோர் வெதர் யூ அப்ளை லாஜிக் ஆர் வெதர் யூ நோ த ஃபேக்ட் திஸ் இஸ் இன் கரெக்ட் ஓகே தேர் வெர்டிகல் கரண்ட்ஸ் any kind of an ocean formation of course there is going to be a vertical current vertical current causes upwelling of water which supports a variety of organisms to thrive in this region okay this condition this blue condition is because of the hypoxic nature and is extremely hostile for organisms to live in there okay anala romba acidic a irukum if you look at the basis of the formation of this blue uh, hole it is because of the karst topography karst topography is the limestone topography you know you bought the thing yeah so this kind of karst or limestone formation if it is in the bedrock of the sea due to sea water it will get eroded and become so acidic that it will not allow anything to form there தண்ணி உள்ள வராது ரொம்ப அசிடிக்கா இருக்கிறதுனால ப்ரெஷர் இல்லாமல் ஒரு மாதிரி இருக்கும் அண்ட் தெர்ஃபோர்ட் இட் வில் கிரியேட் அ டிஸ்டிங்க் பவுண்ட்ரி அண்ட் இட் வில் பி ஸோ ப்ளூ இன் கலர் அதனால தான் அது ப்ளூ ஹோல் அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க ஸோ இட் இஸ் ஹாஸ்ட இட் இஸ் ஹாஸ்டைல் ஃபார் ஆர்கனிசம்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ அதான் அது ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் இன் கரெக்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ இன் கரெக்ட் பிகேம் த செகண்ட் டீப்பஸ்ட் ப்ளூ ஹோல் ஃபவுண்ட் அந்த பிளானட் இஸ் கரெக்ட் ஓகே ஸோ சி ஹியர் திஸ் இஸ் தி நியூலி டிஸ்கவர்ட் ப்ளூ ஹோல் ஓகே இப்படி தான் இருக்கும் 
this is the first adavadu yongle blue hole yongle blue hole adin solvanga this is found off the coast of china na china pakkathula irukkuriya or sea la discover panirundanga or 5 6 years back okay around 950 meters deep varaikkum ipdi irukku okay right so this has nothing to do with biodiversity and all this is just a typical or a peculiar geological formation correct so after this this is the second abdin solirukanga so that is in the news so remember this tamja blue hole abdin rada pathina facts we have put so only three so option a will be correct only three so <coughs> question number 15 the places that were in the news and the locations so mad island maldives ah mumbai right mumbai la mad island irukku anga ongoing debate about on the forest clearances anga sella studio ngt la adikadi it will be there in the news giving some pronouncements about certain things of the mad island irukku it is a commercial place in mumbai okay wellington reef hmm wellington reef it's the capital of New Zealand, and therefore, it should be in New Zealand. It is wrong. <laughs> right. So, Khartoum city in Sudan. I mean, yes, of course, Sudan was in the news around April because of the conflict, ongoing conflict. You know, civil conflict. They put me in another territory. Okay. So, Khartoum is a city in Sudan. Kamchatka Peninsula. Is it in Russia? Yes, of course, it is in Russia, the easternmost part of. Russia la there is a peninsula hanging by it sea of hopes kitta uh, irukum japan pakkathil irukum okay so that is called as see a kamchatka peninsula so that is in russia why was it in news because of a volcanic eruption right it's not because of a security problem you should understand the context okay so where is wellington reef na wellington reef is in equator pakkathile there has been a big coral reef that has been discovered recently off the galapagos island in the pacific ocean and they have named it as wellington reef it's a big mega reef arkumbal okay so therefore they have named it wellington reef adu edukka vachaangala peru yen vachaangala theriyadu okay so it has nothing to do with new zealand okay russia la this is the kamchatka peninsula okay Bering Sea, ko, idh ko naru lag ka kuriye, a small peninsula. So the answer for this will be three uh, and four C option C. Sixteen. The term lockbit makop phobos. These are all related to ransomware. Okay, so India's certain. Abhi andar. organization which is a very important body in cyber security of india has come out with a report as to how much malware hard adverse uh, cyber security threats in india in 2022 evlo vanduchunni there was a report that was published in the month of april so based on this they have termed that lockbit is the biggest threat to india in terms of ransomware attacks all of these are examples of ransomware okay so what does a ransomware do, do? it will try to attack your personal computers or file and only if you pay a ransom then they will give you access to your data okay so in the mariana cyber security threat and so for ransomware b is the answer <clears throat> so consider the following statement with respect to central bureau of narcotics <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so one it is the apex coordinating agency for control of i think on the vaartha ungalku illa nu nenikkira illaya just look at the word you will not be having right apex coordinating agency mattum dhaan irukum you will not be having the word for control of narcotics okay let's say uh, whatever it is let's discuss on uh, this statement whether it was under the department of revenue under the ministry of finance that is correct now one thing we wanted to do is because there are two agencies that are involved in narcotics one is the central bureau of narcotics and the other is called as the national sorry narcotics control bureau narcotics control bureau narcotics 
Okay. So this Narcotics Control Bureau is the apex body for controlling all the things regarding to narcotics. This Central Bureau of Narcotics is a subordinate agency under the Ministry of Finance. And it's, of course, we have brought about this act, right? The convention, this NDPS act, only after bringing that, there was a convention. After that, we also enacted this legislation. And therefore, it was an international law and also domestic law to control the psychotropic drugs. Okay. Right. So, we established the National Control Bureau as an independent agency under the direct control of the Ministry of Home Affairs. At MHA, Kekila Varakudia, apex body for controlling all the affairs of narcotics is Narcotics Control Bureau. This Central Bureau of Narcotics is there from many years ago it is a subordinate agency under the ministry of finance and what does it do Abhina? it supervises the lawful production of opium right illicit production of illicit legal production of opium opium legal yes of course in india in certain areas it is legal right so this kind of legal production of opium poppies are being supervised by the Central Bureau of Narcotics. Okay, we wanted to put that difference, but somewhere, from the, I don't know whether reading that first line is giving you that kind of idea. Yeah, so if you had grace mark, because we have put in the key. Okay, so here is the wrong, we have put the key. Because it is not the apex coordinating agency for control, it is national control, a uh, uh, narcotics control bureau. Okay, so this is correct. It deals with the international trade also. Both of them deal with that. A unified portal has been launched. Of course, this is why we have taken this news. So one is incorrect. Two, three, and four is correct, and therefore we'll have only three. Right. Many of you would have got it only three by thinking that this is wrong. <laughs> right. Are they or narcotics bureau away? Lawful alam no. Obviously, if you had thought, then also you'll be correct. Twenty-six. <clears throat> Ballistic missiles can carry conventional high explosives as well as chemical, biological, or nuclear munitions. Is it right? At the basics of missiles, there are two types of missile. One is the ballistic missile, and the other is cruise missile. Okay, so ballistic missile means it will just follow a projectile. Right. So perumbalo or higher projectile follow no. And that is why perumba, let's say if you see this is the Earth's surface. Ballistic missile on the rumba high projection, la, we will throw thrust it into a very high projection rocket might launch for more and then it will go and hit a target. But cruise missile is not like that, it has to be thrust only to some limit and then it has to follow a path. So, when one straight path follow one cruise, and therefore, it should be self propelled or propellant in the It is like a vehicle that's flying, aeroplane, mari, jet propelled, mari, no. that's what a cruise missile can. So, cruise missile. Under the for cruise missile, ballistic missile, na, ballistic missile, and the advantage in Abdulsana, because it will be out of radar range. There are number high areas so of our target for ICBMs, so long intercontinental, up to 10,000 kilometers. Also, we can target under this missile. So, okay, that's the basic difference between ballistic and cruise. So, here, ballistic, the head can be any kind of weapon. Okay, and therefore, that's correct. The first statement is a very basic statement, one is correct. Second statement. <clears throat> this is the news. Pralay ballistic missile was inducted by the government and it is a surface to air missile. It is an S to S type. Surface to surface type. <clears throat> okay, so surface to air Abdinbadala, Akash types Adilame, they are surface to air type of ballistic missiles okay this is the short range 
150 to 500 kilometers, which has been developed by the DRPO. Okay, so Indian Armed Forces are planning to induct 250 relay ballistic missiles into their defense systems. Okay, so that was in the news. So be careful whenever you read any kind of this data, you have to look into the type of that missile. What type of missile you should be very careful and read. Okay. So, one is correct, two is incorrect. So, the answer is one only. So, question number 27 consider the following pairs exercises. Right. All of this are correct except this. So, exercise kavach is India's uh, exercise where we involve all the military parties, that is, Army Irpanga, Joint Military Axis, Army, Air Force, Navy, all of them will come together. Okay, that is called as exercise kavach. India, le, remember, Peri, a military exercise is this exercise kavach. Okay, so B, uh, that is not between any countries, it is between Indian forces. Okay, so Adanala, the tapu. This is correct. So, three pairs only. Answer will be three pairs. Right. The term Abhilek Patal is in news. It is related to right, a web portal to access digital collections of the National Archives of India. Okay. So, you can It's up live. You can also go and visit any data. Archives, Palay archives, you can go and visit this website to get this. Okay, so India has been digitizing all its archives under which a new portal has been opened. Okay, so this is the Abilek part. In the context of multiple sclerosis, consider the following statements. So this is a disease. It's an autoimmune disease which affects the central nervous system. Yes. Okay. So this multiple sclerosis, it uh, it uh, harms or damages the central nervous system, and thereby it can permanently deteriorate or damage your spinal cord. Okay. So that's the effect. So it's an autoimmune disease. Huh? So this is correct statement. It can be directly inherited from their parents. Hmm? Right. So, this is incorrect. Okay. Of course, the, we cannot rule out other than can or may be, but inheritable disease, na, there should be there should be a risk of it transmitting, but it is not so. But the genetic character of this disease has not been fully concluded, and therefore it is not directly inherited. Third, there is currently no cure for this disease. Yes, we have no cure. Okay, so rare diseases of being rather This is also one of the diseases. <coughs> and India has been trying to make it as a health concern in India because a la larger number of people are getting affected with this disease. Okay, so multiple sclerosis now, autoimmune disease. The answer will be B1 and 3 because 2 is incorrect. Plasma is one of the four fundamental states of matter. Which of the following environments can it be seen? Hmm? All the above. Right. So, plasma under the, it's an ionized state of matter. So, it can be seen in any way. Let's say, especially it can be seen in the lower earth orbits. And that is why the aurora phenomenon, lightning phenomenon, all of this happens because of the presence of plasma. Okay. And the plasma that we see in the terrestrial spaces today, it is not natural plasma, it is artificial plasma. You would have heard about plasma TVs and all. Yeah. So, plasma technology is funny. There are many electrical devices also. But this kind of plasma is an artificial plasma that we create by ionizing certain types of matter, okay. 
but in the natural rade, it can be found in any of this. Okay. So all the above, you see carbons. The terms Roberta, Megatron, and T5. Hmm. Okay. Answer is not this. <laughs> right. Artificial intelligence. Models of artificial intelligence. If you had not been in UPSC preparation and this question was given to you, then our mind will be one na choose panne. How do you know? <laughs> okay. So this is a model. In a model, for example, Roberta is the model, is the AI model that is being developed by Facebook. Right. Uh, you do know Chat GPT. Yeah. Chat GPT is now being floated by a company called as OpenAI. This OpenAI has brought out in the other which what is the model behind which Chat GPT works now? There is a model called as Flip model. Okay, so these are the models. So Berta model and Bert model, B E R T. So BERT model laga, BARD, Google is developing BARD. So these kind of things are the models behind it. Okay. Commercial name could be different. But the model that is behind this AI is what is the question. So these kind of terms are related to models of artificial intelligence. So the answer will be C. Which of the following statements is correct with regards to polyhydroxy alkanates? PHA. Hmm? The answer is D. Right. Because uh, there has been a research that once the PHA can be commercialized, we need not use any kinds of plastics because this can help us in creating bioplastics. That is, plastics it can replace the plastics that we are using, and it is uh, so. Uh, malleable that you can do it in whatever shapes you want and it is all biodegradable. THA is purely biodegradable that can help us replace plastics. Okay. So these are polyesters that can be used in biomedical and packaging industries. So bioplastics is associated with PHA. Right. So, another health <coughs> advisory given by the Ministry of Health that this is also a growing concern and has uh, asked the government to take serious steps against it is endometriosis. Okay. So, what is this? Uh, this is a disease that affects the female body, especially because of menstruation. Okay. So, first, it is a disease caused by enteroviruses. I don't mean, know. Virus has nothing to do. With this disease, it is, just, it is just purely physiological in nature. Okay, so it is characterized by the abnormal tissue growth outside the uterus. Yes, of course, there is a natural lining of tissue and the uterus chamber. There, is, if there is an abnormal growth that uh, grows beyond this layer, we call this as endometriosis, and it will be a very painful experience for women who are having this kind of disease. So it has not been spoken of. And this has not been recognized as a disease as of now. Therefore, the government, the Ministry of Health is advising to recognize this as a national health, uh, health risk. I've been so far. Okay. That commonly affects women after the menopause stage is incorrect because it is during the menstruation period only women will be affected by this. One in 10 women are affected. That means only the government is putting forth the data. So the answer will be. Two only. One is incorrect. Three is also incorrect. Right. So, Wildlife Protection Act 2022. Okay. So, under this, under this act, the number of schedules were reduced from six to four. Yes, of course. Uh, in the WPA 1972, there were six schedules, four for protections one for plant and one for vermin okay now we have reduced it to four by taking out removing the schedule for vermin vermin no schedule the government is now free to 
announce anything as vermin. Okay, so this is correct. The act deletes the schedule for vermin species. This is correct. The chief wildlife warden appointed by the central government will process the applications. This is correct, but there has been a small mistake here. Uh, in the correct number go. Earlier, it was specifically given in section 4, section 4 of the WPA Act that the chief wildlife warden will be appointed by the state government. That clause has been now removed. But what does it mean? Will the state government not have the powers? No? Of course, the state government will have powers. But yeah, the explicit are removed on Maybe center can also do that. Okay, so the question here was not the tone of this question. The emphasis was not about this. Whether uh, chief wildlife warden will process the applications and all now. Of course, it is right. Every state will have a chief wildlife warden. Okay. So here, look, China, there is a clarification needed on, on the act I will put in the group. Okay. So state state is also appointing, but the center is also bringing about a committee under which it will appoint. Okay. So this is, so one, two, and three, all of them. So all three are correct. Consider the following tribes and their locations, Haki Pikis, right. So this has been interchanged. Okay. So Hindu Mishmis are from Arunachal Pradesh and Haki Bikis are in Karnataka. They are called as bird catchers. They are a semi-nomadic and tribal communities. They were in the news because a majority of their communities were held up in the Sudan conflict for which the government had to intervene for their rescue. Okay. Right. Haki Bikis in Radhi. Ah, the Patachi. Hindu Mishmis. Hindu Mishmis. They are the tribes. They were in the news because they are against the Dibang Tiger Reserve, right? Designating the Dibang Reserve as a Tiger Reserve, they feel that it will intervene or intrude into their tribal rights. Okay, so that is what is in the news. And again, Shompen tribe is also in the news because the Great Nicobar Project, the NGT, has warned, has sounded a caution against this project because. It will endanger the Shompen community, the tribals of the Nicobar Islands. Shompen and the Nicobar, Andaman and Nicobar. So this is correct. These two are interchanged, and therefore the answer will be only one pair. Which of the following is correct with respect to traffic downgrading? Hmm? Yes. Okay. So the me. And the eutrophication, there has been many news about it before we or static Okay, so trophic downgrading is this apex predictors are removed and for the trophic levels of the downgrade off. The quality of the trophic interaction will downgrade. That is called as trophic downgrade. Okay, so all of this are the gradual depletion of minerals in a body of water. This is a simple term for eutrophication. The role that an organism plays. In the ecosystem, then are they niche? Okay, it's a measurement that indicates the maximum capacity. This is called as a carrying capacity of an ecosystem. Okay, so carrying capacity. The last term is carrying capacity. Third term, third sentence is about ecological niche. First is about eutrophication. Okay, so therefore, option B is correct with respect to tropic downgrading. <coughs> Hasdiya movement. Yes, very good. Right, coal mining project in Chhattisgarh. The tribals are against it. It has been a 10 year movement. Right, where they are vehemently opposing the mining in this region. Hasdiya movement. Raccoon dogs were linked to coronavirus pandemic. At our time, la, bats were responsible for COVID pandemic in Ramari. Now there has been reports that raccoon dogs could also be responsible for the spread of COVID-19. So regarding that dogs, raccoon and antirima, hmm? it's a kind of a rodent, right? USA alarm, the raccoons are found. Yeah, mari or furry animal, mari or eli mari, when the period size like eli mari, nai mari or right under, huh? Panda mari, 
no it's not such a huge a rodent mari da irukum avladha or spotted ah irukum adu eppadi solla therla neenga la vera enna imagine okay so raccoon dogs are naturally found in india no right they hibernate during the winter season sir idala therinjikkanuma appadina uh <laughs> our inspiration is from upsc <laughs> therefore okay so they hibernate na yes they hibernate they have the practice of hibernating their iucn protection status is endangered is incorrect okay least concern right so this is a very common animal that is uh, especially found in the east asian countries china japan la they use it uh for meat purposes also for other uh, domestic purpose commercial purpose dog pelt seyiradukku for their fur it is being exploited so nariya from the wild only it is found in the wild but people are trying to pet it bring it into the domestic so adunalo vandirukalam but amari there is a news okay so one sorry two only is correct so option c okay raccoon dogs this is a dog and it is not a raccoon okay right it is a dog and it is not a raccoon if you just we can search a raccoon okay so raccoon madri irukku the external feature of this dog okay right so uttara merur inscriptions provide a detailed description about the villages self governance is it right yes this is a statement given by prime minister modi okay then is one of his speeches man ki baat illa vera edho occasion la he spoke about the uttara merur inscriptions okay so village self governance abindrathu tamil nadu polity la irundirukku of course many times many years ago sangam kaalathil inde irukkum so this also speaks about how in the medieval time also there was an idea of village self governance in india hey especially in south india the uttara merur inscription is dated around 920 ad during the reign of raja raja cholan right okay very good ஐஸ் ராஜராஜ சொல்லணும் बिकॉज இங்க என்ன கேஸ் क्वेश्चनனா so that you might integrate history also here ராஜராஜ சோழன் the great cholas அப்படிங்க காலம் வந்து கிட்டத்தட்ட 1000 and he was born in 1980s but his reign started around 1000 so 1000 ad da chola oda reign right the ascendancy of cholas the later cholas happens in 1000s அப்ப 900 னா அதுக்கு முன்னாடி cholas இல்ல okay they were there but they were not having a big name to them the uttara meru town was established by the pallava king nandi varman too this is correct okay so the answer is this is incorrect 1 and 3 therefore 1 and 3 option c <coughs> question number 61 anandpur sahib hmm? as a town is a city located in punjab it is one of the most sacred places for sikhism that was established by ninth sikh guru teg bahadur sahib right it is all correct right ellame correct okay so this anandpur sahib is correct tha sacred place is correct tha ninth sikh guru ellame correct tha we have not missed any word here okay ninth tenth adalla potu right <coughs> You know about the history of Teg Bahadur Sahib, isn't it? Ninth Guru. He was a reason. Yare, our angzip beheading. Abhi nirvade okay. varadam pannet. Okay. So Anandapur Sahib resolution was adopted in 1973 because this resolution was taken place at this place. Okay. So anga oru guru dwara arke anga dal chapan naanga. So it was taken by the Akali Dal. which includes both religious and political issues anandapur sahib resolution i think in the last test also the vathi or reference irundichu or or statement la in the last week's test anandapur sahib resolution vathi irundicha illa or or statement hmm right the quality la i i remember i we were discussing about that statement okay some federal federalism pathina 
context, there were two statements made where we put Anandapur Sahib resolution. I don't know the exact framing of the sentence because <laughs> okay. one week is a time too much in Ringla. <laughs> the resolution <coughs> proposed, Anandapur Sahib resolution is also very famous because it revolved around federalism. So what did it do? It proposed a quasi-independent status to states. Now, it demanded autonomy for Punjab, seeking that it should be a separate state having more powers and the center should have only this. Foreign relations, defense, currency and general communication. Just make us on par with Jammu Kashmir. Give all the states this kind of autonomy. So only then it can strengthen federalism. This was the demand of the resolution made under the Anandapur Sahib resolution. And they also made another demand. Political resolution, people will be aware of. There is some religious resolution which they made. And that was to announce Sikhism as a separate religion, not as part of Hinduism. And therefore, two is also correct. Three is also correct. One is also correct. So, one, two, and three. The answer for this will be one, two, and three. Which number 61? One, two, three. Which of the following are correctly matched? Hmm? All three are correctly matched. Okay. So, India after independence wanted to uh, promote this art and art and literature for which it came out with three academies. One is the Academy for Dances and that is called as a Sahitya Academy, sorry, Sangeet Kalana Academy, Sangeet Natak Academy, Academy for Letters, that is called as a Sahitya Academy and the Academy for Visual Arts, that is Lalit Kala Academy. Okay, so all of these three, these are the academies that are responsible for this particular field. So one, two, three, all of them are correct options. Okay, right. Basic concept of Quran, Gubari Kathir, India wins freedom. All of this were written by, yes. right. So this is the correct option. Right, our birthday or the celebrate Paninana, that's why this question. Right. So we have established why in New Sindhra Krishna Putach. Okay. So recent decipherment of copper plates in Lambatum. So it talks about a person in which a heavily male dominated field of classic Sanskrit literature. She was a famous Sanskrit poetess. Sanskrit poetess. Right. It has been recorded by historians. Now, a recent decipherment now attests to the fact that it was not just uh, inconclusive. It has been there. It's a fact. Okay. So, what this is speaking about? What is the person who is associated with this particular passage? Shilabhatrika. Okay. She is the daughter of Pulikesan. Right. Whenever you find these kinds of notable exceptions, make it noted down because the scope of this is not only for your prelims, for a sale there appear, our context there appear, women empowerment tale there appear. Do you think that ancient literature or ancient India or historical India was always patriarchal in numbering law of Nino Kosmigeta? And the more questions to give these facts, you need all these kinds of examples. Right. We may not go and study these kind of facts. Therefore, in the Mari take note of it, write it down, and make sure that you use it in a specific context. 
ஓகே ரைட் ஏன்னா எல்லாரும் திரும்பவும் எஸ்ஏ எழுதினாலே மகாத்மா காந்தி வச்சு தான் எழுதுறாங்க ஊர் அடிக்குது உண்மையிலே எனி எஸ்ஏ பீப்புள் ரைட் தே வில் ரைட் அபவுட் சௌரி சௌரா ஏ கிவ் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ஓகே அடா ரொம்ப வைடா இருக்கணும் உங்க எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் யூ கேன் கோட் ஃப்ரம் அதுதான் தட் வில் பீக் தி இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் ஆஃப் அ பர்சன் ஹூ இஸ் ரைட் ஹூ இஸ் கோயிங் டு கரெக்ட் யுவர் ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஓகே யா தட்ஸ் அப் 25 முடிஞ்சிருச்சா ம் இல்ல வந்தே பாரத் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ்ல போய்டோம் போல ஓகே ஐ சோ நெக்ஸ்ட் வீக் will be economy my test will be there for you so the the uh, i think you know the syllabus also isn't it but i'll not be strictly within that syllabus appo dhan solluvom idella syllabus lende varra mari a irke okay so you just refer your ncert books 11th standard oda ncert 9th standard yum light a konjam paathukuvanga right i'll not ask too much questions from macroeconomics at introductory macroeconomics nu nareya kekkamaatta i'll not be asking so much of questions so no need to read the entire chapter for that okay right thank you